Cool. Right, Twitch is... Twitch is live. Hello, everybody, on Twitch. And then now we'll go to YouTube, hopefully. Yep. Hello, everybody, on YouTube as well. So when so welcome everybody. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. When where 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 where? I should sound like a DJ on repeat. Um, hello and welcome to the Wednesday the live stream of Pilot Wing sixty four. A really a beautiful gem on the N sixty four. I think this was a, a launch title, but you probably could correct me, guys, in the comments. But I think it was, if I remember back in the day. I could be wrong though. But hey, and I forgot to put up restream chat. I'm so silly. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Clear my clear my throat. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna check my stuff for a second and see if everything's working fine. Dean Bragg. Yeah, that's Pirate cool. Reduced. Hello, Dean Bragg. How are you this evening? Uh, right. Okay. I will talk about the history of this game. So, <coughs> clear my throat first. Uh, Pilot Wing 64 is a video game for the N64, originally released in 96 alongside the debut of the console. Yes, it was a launch title. Uh, the game was co-developed by Nintendo Primary, uh, Nintendo EAD, who developed the original game, and the American Visual Technology Group uh, Par 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 Paradigm Simulation. I can't say that. It uh, was one of the three launch titles for the N64 in Japan, as well as Europe, and one of the first two launches in North America. Pilot Wings 64 is a follow-up to Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo, of course, which Dean was um, a no. Yeah, sorry. I am doing good retrodude. Yeah, give me a sec. Um, which was a North American um, game for its prospective console in '91, and also like the game, Pilot Wings 64 received production input from the Nintendo producer and the EAD general manager Shigeru Moto, of course. Pilot Wings 64 is a 3D amateur flight simulator that puts the play in the control of six pilots. As they do to earn pilot licenses through the various forms of aviation, the events flying a auto gyro using a jetpack, hang gliding, several bonus tasks are offered such as skydiving and human cannibal tests. The game also puts focus on the allowing player to freely explore its detailed 3D environments, most notably a miniature representation of the United States. The game received positive review scores and praised the gaming publications and new sources of light for the visual press of the year. Presentation and flying controls similar to the SNES predecessor, Pilot Wings serves as a demonstration of the graphical capabilities of the gaming hardware. Although the flight uh, simulator did, did not enjoy the same commercial success as the follow launch game to Mario 64, Pilot Wings 64 no less went on to sell over 1 million copies worldwide, which is a very impressive for a, a excellent launch title. Uh, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so it was released um, in Japan in '96. Then in Europe in uh, 97 on March 1st, so you can read all about that on the Wikipedia, of course. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm okay, guys. Um, right, guys, um, i got some things I want to say, uh, but I'll play them when I'll play the game. But one of them is I'm probably going to take a two-week break um, in June. Um, one is I'm going holiday next month, and two, I just want to take a little bit of a break from YouTube because grinding for YouTube is... It's it, it's not just stressing me out a little bit. It's just it, it's it's putting. <laughs> how shall I say this politely? It it's it's too much work, and I'm not getting enough views. So I want to work on a bigger video to get more views into my channel. So I think that'd be a good idea for me to just take a break. Um, but I'll let you know. So Yoshi Part Two will be the final live stream. Um, and then I'm gonna take a couple of weeks off. Um, uh, cause it's summertime as well. So I want to relax. Like everybody should. I mean, you shouldn't be a slave driver to your job, um, which is not really a job, is it? But uh, even if you're a ho doing this for a hobby, you should take a break from it. And I think that's a good thing to do because I'm not a robot. And all, like uh, all robots, we need to be maintained and <laughs> and get new upgrades. Do you know what I mean? So we need to, we need to know, you know, we can't be like machine machines just pumping this stuff out. It's too much work. So. Fanatic. Yeah, hello, Yoshi Fnatic is here. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm alright, dude. Yeah. Um Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing okay, dude. Um yeah. I am <clears throat> I made a new video today. Um I found a little uh, emulation um handheld thing, which is the worst thing I ever bought, but hey, it's gonna be uploaded on YouTube, uh, hopefully tonight, but it won't be it won't be watchable tonight, I'll put it as a premiere again. So uh that's the reason. 
Okay, let's play this game, shall we? This looks pretty good fun. Uh, I'm gonna do just two hours, which is more than enough for this sort of live stream. But this is quite a short game, I noticed. So we'll see how we do. Yeah. Out of curiosity, if you ever get yourself a burger for dinner, which mm. restaurant do you like, Burger King or McDonald's? Well, McDonald's really because their burgers are better and their fries are nicer. I don't like Burger King anymore. Burger King is just ugh. Their chi their their chips are h horrible. It tastes like um, ref it, it tastes like refried cardboard. Oh, right. Uh, that's the only thing. But you know um, what? Yeah, I don't really like uh, Burger King to be honest. And they're more expensive than McDonald's, I know this. So, obviously McDonald's win for me. And their uh, McDonald's breakfasts are pretty good though. I like the double soldier egg muffin. Oh god, that's good. <laughs> I know. It's so nice. Yeah, I'm using the retro uh, I'm using the retro arch tonight cuz it's actually really good for this. And I know it looks a little bit de-res, but you know, I'm trying to say I'm trying to like uh, hopefully uh, Compensate for my CPU and try and get this game played uh, in a nice way. Okay, shall we go? Um, yeah. Oh, I need to raise this. Right, I'll raise this now. Okay, raise this. Yes, please. Yeah. Start off fresh. Yeah. Okay, shall we do... What should we do first? Yeah, let's do a hang glide first. <laughs> yeah. And you know who I'm going to pick, right? I like me blondes. And she has massive missiles. Well, her, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So you juggle between two restaurants. Do you um? Do you go to White Castle? You should go to White Castle, dude. It's no, oh my god. They steam their burgers. It's so nice. Oh, yum. I know. <laughs> I I remember I went with my cousin and we had. And they had like 50 mini burgers, and it was so cute. But then when you ate them, it was like, oh my god, it's so cute, it's so cute, but I have to eat you. <laughs> the little burgers, man, they were so tasty, though. <laughs> right, so I got through five rings. No, three rings, sorry. I thought I said five rings, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, it, it's a nice game to relax to. I mean, I like the music in this game, it's actually, it's very soothing. Yeah. And it's, it's a nice, non-threatening game, you know what I mean? But I know the later the game gets a bit harder as well. Oh, you don't have White Castle. Oh, no. Oh. Would you actually go to White Castle if you had one in your area, though? Yeah. I don't mind KFC. KFC is quite nice, though, isn't it? So, the only problem with KFC is, uh, I don't know. Their chicken's a bit strange taste, I don't know. Oh, look at that! I landed, like, spot on there! Really? Oh, let's see that reverse. Should we see that again? Let's have a look. As she goes with her massive, with her massive assaults, she goes, boing! <laughs> I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Oh, of course you could take photos in this, can't you? Ah, okay. Oh, I missed by one point. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Unless you're, like, perfectionist, you want to actually get all these gold medals. Yeah, uh, so my week has been a bit of a mixture of bag. Um, I don't know what's happening with my dentist. My dentist, right? Dean Bragg. Uh, yeah, I'll... Two Adventure Island games on the Game Boy and three uh. on the NES you can get. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, yeah, with my dentist, I don't know what happened, right? I usually go to the one very close by, but, yeah. Yeah, I give it a try. Hmm. My favourite fast food restaurants right now are Wendy's and... Oh, Wendy's is nice, mate. ...is a bit of a guilty pleasure. Yeah, Wendy's is gorgeous, man. Their burgers are, like, this big, aren't they? Yeah, like, mammoth, you go... You have to, you probably have to eat half of it and then take half it home. That's the pr weird thing about your American metric size, metric size portions are massive. It's enough for like one burger is enough for like two meals. It's it's insane. I know in England we get like small burgers like this. <laughs> um, but as I was saying though, um, 
my dentist has deregistered me, uh, the local one up the road, and I'm going like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, that, that game is too too expensive, Dean Bragg. I can't afford it, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, they just delisted me and said, oh, you're no longer on, the, on our service, on our server. And I'm going like, well, thanks a lot. You know, I now have to go further afield to get my free dentist. Because why not? I know. And then I told my parents, it's like, but I don't want to pay for a feeling that's 65 quid. Or, you know, for a checkup, it's like 20... And I had one in Matlock, right? You know, down the road, and they said, 58 quid, please. I'm going like, no. I'm not I'm not going for 50 quid checkoff. It's strange, isn't it, though? <laughs> yeah, I, I tell you what, though. I've seen um, people in New Jersey are huge. Huge. It's like they're, they're, they're like waddling penguins, like they're just waddle, 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 holding their holding their bellies because they can't they can't walk properly because all the weight goes to their stomach and they and their legs get crossed for it. Thank good. Well, well, it's okay to um, spoil yourself once in a while, but I wouldn't obviously do it every day because that's what Americans do. I notice they actually tend to. Oops. They tend to eat every day, which is really bad for your health, so... What I tend to do, guys, is to treat myself once a month, like have a takeaway pizza or to have a burger or something like that. Yeah, just... Just to, like, don't overindulge, of course, but... Oh, minus two points, never mind. Let's see how that long thing went, shall we? He went... Eh, 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 look, look, springy legs. <laughs> Okay, right. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> dee -dee -dee -dee. Now I don't know if this app, when you unlock this, uh, finish all the medals, do you actually get another mode? That's the only thing I don't know about this game particularly. Uh, so yes, and um, I did a new intro today for my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, yeah, I decided to use my own voice to do recordings now because I don't want to go and download stuff for, you know, sound files because the problem with, this is the problem with like, you know, with copyright and stuff, you know, I want to do it my own way, but I think that's a good thing though because you're doing it from your own voice and you're not doing it from a recording because I feel with, that makes more sense and it's more um, you, do you know what I mean? Uh, that's the reason I was going for it. And I thought, have a laugh, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and your body wouldn't handle it either. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. See, yeah. Hmm. Did you get your memory card for the PlayStation? Yeah, I got one for PlayStation 1 and 2, yes. Yeah. Uh, who should I be? Should I be Lark? Lark! He's all larking around, lark, lark, lark. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually Let's see. I cook my own food at home and pack a sandwich, mm. salad, or leftovers for lunch at work. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 quite positive because you're um you're home cooking and that's good for you as well because the problem is with restaurants they use a lot of oil as well. You've got to be careful how much oil oil you have in, in your diet though because it's not good for your body though. But I've been told, I've been uh, reading up about green tea. Um, apparently green tea is really good for fighting uh, black decay. Um, which I'm going like, I think that's a good thing. But I don't know if it's true though. This is the problem with Google. You know, the Google can say one thing saying it's true. But it, many theorists will say like, no, don't trust Google. I think the problem I have with Google, right? I will say this though. Their Google Maps are not very good though. Um, because, you know... One minute it could say you should go do like uh, go the weird long way round your your destination, and you go for and you think to yourself, but why do I want to go the weird way round when you can get a car of your own and just go straight ahead, like to your destination? Oh, uh, but about that, guys, um, I basically put on been put on the register uh, to get a driving test sorted. Oh, by one point, ah, oh, by one point, that's a pretty good run. Oh my god, that was like, 
That was a really good run, wasn't it? Only by one point. Oh, that's fantastic. That was a really good run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you guys remember, was it James Bond? He had a gyrocopter and uh, I, <laughs> I don't know which James Bond movie it was, but if you guys know, you probably could know better than me though. Um, yeah, uh, so, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think what I'm going to say next. <laughs> okay, let's go next, shall we? For a perfect score. Oh, what if I get a gold medal, please? Please give me a gold medal. I'll be very happy if you gave me a gold medal. <laughs> yeah. Yay, gold medal. Woohoo. Wicked. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. There's a ho Oh, I see. Oh, right. Okay. Ah. I didn't realize that there was an extra one there. Oh no, this is gonna get this is gonna get tough now. We need to do higher difficulty. Here we go. Kiwi! And not based on a fruit, by the way. <laughs> uh, guys, what do you like to cook when you're at home? Um I think um what I'm gonna start doing is making pasta lunches. Uh like maybe with pasta with um with courgette and stuff. Yeah, I like my courgette. Courgette is awesome, it's really good for you as well. The only problem I have with tomato is I've got to be careful how much I have in the system. Isn't that really expensive on the Amazon? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, um. Oh, guys, I want to talk to you about this anyway. Is, um. Do you know, guys, know about the new terms of service from YouTube? That, um. If you're not, um. Monetized, uh, YouTube's going to put ads. Now, I mean, I know I made it to my 1k subscriber goal, but, you know, I'm not going to turn on ads. But the thing is now, YouTube is going to basically put ads in my video, even though I'm not monetized. Does that bother you guys? Or would, would are you okay with it, personally? Oh, we've got chicken at home. That's nice. That's cool. But with person with me, though, I mean, I'm, it's not going to stop me uh, doing YouTube, though. I mean... You know, I mean, YouTube is a platform that has to make money somehow, isn't it? Which I understand, I suppose, but hey. Remember yeah. How I was planning on building a PC. Oh, yeah. Well, right now I am undecided because of the GPU market. And oh. New technology is coming out relatively soon. I may just upgrade my laptop. Oh, um, I heard a, I heard a thing about the apparently um nvidia is going to release their gpu um their own gpu laptops now i i don't know is it worth me investing in one of those because of what i think of it because nvidia are really good uh graphic cards uh people so i might go with them though but i think i might wait till next year before hopefully the um the silicon chips things are sorted out because that way we can all buy i mean i want to get a new, another thing YouTube is putting ads on our videos now. Yeah. Does that does that bother you though, or are you okay with it? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that though. I mean, I I'm 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 okay though because I'm gonna still keep making videos anyway, no matter what though. Even though I'm not monetized, but I don't want to be monetized anyway because YouTube is very um is <laughs> I think I think the thing is. YouTube is <laughs> has got a lot of issues, and the problem is, if you say a certain word on, you know, your videos, YouTube can probably flag it and say, "Well, you're demonetized," and it's just not, it's not a fun process, guys. It's, it's really, it's really. Oh, I have to take a picture. Uh, how do I do that? Ah, right. Is it that picture I need to take? Right, and I gotta land apparently. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh no. Oops. <laughs> What's this? Oh no. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I? Oh no. I didn't. Oh, I didn't land on the spot. I think it might be a. Uh no. Um. Okay. No, I don't. Here it bothers me. 
Mm. They are making plenty of money on the ads right now as it is. Right. Why do they need to put ads on our videos? Well, I, I suppose, I think I have a theory, right? Because YouTube is losing money, uh, which is, I don't know, understand why we, would YouTube lose money, because they make money from uh, buying, you can buy movies on their uh, site, right? Like yeah, iTunes, right. which I don't understand though. Besides getting games and also, stuff, are there any other game stores you always go to? Uh, game stores. I, I, I don't really go to a lot of them though, because as I was saying from last week, I'm trying to be conservative with my money. I'm trying to um, not go crazy, but I am going out tomorrow um, just to get a couple of games, but I'm not going to go on a massive splurging spree because I got my holiday next month to worry about anyway, so <clears throat> that's another thing. And also I'm saving up for a PC at the moment, so that's another thing I've got to concentrate on. But yeah, I mean, would you guys carry on YouTube if they put ads on your video, even though you're not monetized? And also, I don't know what they, they said in new terms of service that apparently um, YouTube tax, they say anything about YouTube tax thing. You know, they make money off of your videos, so you go get the piece of the uh, piece of the pie, which is, it's, well, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, I feel, I, I, <laughs> I think the problem is you have to sign up to sign up to these things and you go like well, where do you take these photos it doesn't tell you where you should take these photos from maybe it's here I I, I don't know where where would you take the photos from it's a bit slow isn't it though uh, yeah but then again, though, I, I'm more concerned about Twitch, if you want my honest truth, guys, because I don't know what's up with Twitch lately. They seem to be, you know, getting a bit strange with their uh, their choices lately, but I don't know. Eh. Oh, that's one of them. Oh, right. Take a picture of that. Oh. Okay. Yoshi fanatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll keep making videos. All right. If okay. Affects my views at all. I'll be quite upset. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But maybe um, you'll probably gain more. Um... Oh, I'm not a fan of this level. Uh, try another test. Sod it. Uh, fly through for any rings you can land on the landing point. Okay, let's have a look at the map. It would help me if I looked the map. That I should have looked the map, shouldn't I? Yeah, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna still keep making videos, and uh, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh shoot! You forgot. Oh no! I need to restart. That was a bad run. I need to go right down, don't I? You need to put, you know pin yourself right down there, like that. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is cool. Look. We're going all the way down in the canyon! Wee! 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 Oh no! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I've got to... Oh, dang it. I fell... I fell down, didn't I? Then, it, yeah, I think, I think YouTube, um, I think YouTube, I think YouTube has a problem though. Maybe they, maybe they, they need money to implement more features, or it could be like their staffing problems. Maybe that's my, maybe why they need um, ads, because it, obviously they are business, aren't they? And they have to run the site as the as they are. So that's my theory as well. But I could be wrong though. I mean, if you guys know what you think is up, what is up with YouTube, let me know. But I think um, maybe they're struggling because they probably de-platform a lot of people who do a lot of controversial videos, and that's probably why they need to recoup their losses in other people's. But it's not. I think personally, um, it's a little bit of a, a slap to us lot because I mean, it's a slap for everybody else because you know. They should find other ways. I mean, why can't they? I mean, why do you have to Google AdSense to 
Hardly six. What I don't understand is that they won't make hardly any money from the ads on our videos due to low view count. And that's why, yeah, and that's what bothers me too. Yeah. I know, exactly, that's that's another thing. I mean, if people have low view numbers, then why would you put ads in them? This is exactly what I had a problem with. Because I was partnership, I had a channel partnership with a company. And uh, they gave me really vo low view, and I said to them, why would you why would you put my channel in like a sponsorship when I got low views? Oh right. Oh cool. Nice. Now how do you how do you get out of that bit? Seriously, how do you get out of that bit? I feel sorry for the poor dude. And then I need I need more points to beat this, but I don't know how you get out of there. Uh, maybe I need to do a, what I need to do is just go along the ground. Maybe slow down a bit. Maybe would help. Yeah, maybe like that. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Ah oh, no! I got the right idea though. Ah, oh, gag! Dang it! This is well hard, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, do you know what rewires me also? Um, what if Twitch does this as well? You know, put, you know, if you go to reach a Twi Twitch partnership, they could do that as well. I mean, this is the thing, guys. Nobody likes ads. Nobody does. Whoa, oh, there we go. Oh, I managed to escape that. As long as I can land and get past, I should be all right. Alright. Yeah. Like, my top ten video is about to cross four thousand views. That's great though. That's over the course of ten months. And that would net YouTube about four dollars. Four dollars. Really worth it for them. Four dollars. Yeah, that's not that's not really worth it, is it though? You need like what, um how so how how many views would you so how much money would you get if you have a million views? So I imagine a million views would be what? Uh, what? Is it like twenty something dollars or fifty dollars? I don't know. I mean, this is the thing you need. I think what I need to look into because I don't know. But <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, right. So take a photo of the uh, of the flame coming on the oil plant. Right. Okay. I've already did that though. Oh, okay. I've already did that though. That's oh, I didn't go close enough. Maybe that's why. Okay, I might have to do another course in a minute. Yeah, I think the thing is though, um, everybody, you have to grind. You have to really grind, and I think it's quite emotionally stressful for a lot of people because you think about it. You know, you had to take out. You had to. Make sure you, you know, you have to have loads of energy to do these things. And it's scary, though. Right, let's see. So, give me some mega points with that, please. <laughs> no, give me huge quadruple points and make sure you land on the spot this time, me. Right, ready, steady, go. Right, ready, steady, go. What? Oh, come on, you landed right there. Dean Brad. 30 Dean points? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games on your channel yet? Uh, yeah, I have played one of them, yeah. But, I'm um, yeah, I can't remember which one. I got, I haven't played uh, the uh, third one on the NES yet. That's another game I want to play is the Manhattan Project. I never got around to that one. That's a really good B-Mart. I think that's better than the second one. Because the second one was an arcade port of an original game as well, wasn't it? Um, obviously back on MAME, so... Why are these structures so picky? It's like, I took a picture of your freaking flame out of the oil rig thing. <laughs> and I didn't land properly, so oops. Right, ready? Photography time! Don't get burned, don't get burned. Let's see if actually he gets on fire. That'd be quite funny, though. 
Oh my god, I'm on fire! Out! Out! <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, this time, this time, this time. Uh, oh, careful, careful. Uh, ah, beautiful! Right on the, right on the bull's horns, literally. Oh, come on, no. Oh, that's okay, I'm happy with that. Sorry. 17 points I need. Right, okay, I need to try another test. Uh, okay, so let's see if I can do this again. And this time land it on properly. I do like this. This level is really good fun, isn't it? It makes you appreciate the 3DS version. That was a really good game. The, you know the Pilot Wings Last Resort? That was awesome. Whoa. No. Okay, should we try another test? Yeah, I'll come back to that one. It's getting a bit it's getting a bit tricky that one for some weird reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Um let's try you. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Do you know what I love about the blonde girl in this game? She goes, Oh yeah. It's like <laughs> she she sexually turns me on every time. I love me blonde girls. I know I'm a sucker for blondes. No, blondes, blondes for me are, are very fun, but if you like uh, brunettes, that's cool as well. I don't mind, if you see. Yeah, so 4,000 views. So, I mean, that's really good milestone for you, dude. I mean, that's... I think um, I think uh, my PC Engine video is at 12,000 views, um, which is pretty... It's still amazing, though, which is really good, so I'm very happy with that. And I noticed my Twitch video, um, How to Change Your Phone Number, to another Twitch account is really getting popular at the moment. Yeah, so I'm very happy with that. It's actually people, a lot of people have praised me. And also, I had a really nice comment uh, today about uh, my B, my um, Retro Freak review, uh, the old emanation console that I used to review back in the day. That's uh, getting really good reception now. And uh, I should keep doing more of those videos. I like helping people out. You know, it's really good. There is a good thing to do, help the community, you know, solve their problems. I like doing that because it makes me feel happy you know I actually help someone out which I like it's really good it's really nice <laughs> it's really really nice and I'm looking forward to uh, next week because uh, my parents uh, are gonna show me their new car which because uh, they had the old uh, they had the old BMW but now they got a new one and I'm going like oh I can't wait to have a look be lucky a new car <laughs> I know um, if I ever pass my driving test do you know what I would love to have, guys? I would love to have a Mini Cooper cars. I just like the Italian job. Don't ask me why, but I certainly love it. <laughs> hey, that was a beautiful landing, wasn't it? Only eight points. I'm happy with that. Wicked. <laughs> oh, thank you, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Alright, I had a bit of a rock, rock tumble kind of week, but, you know, I'm... Okay, 44 points I need. I should be able to cinch this. Oh, I can cinch this. Uh, let's view the map right. Okay. Landing point right there. Oh, this is the uh, hop one. It's like uh, skipping stones, but with targets. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's quite tricky to do this quite fast, so you have to be right quite quick. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I love that sound. You know that machine sound? Very similar to the con... Conquer's bad fur day. Oh, come on. I landed on that beautifully. Okay. All right. Next one, please. Oh, sexy. I like that. Oh, that's cute. Where's the other target? Where is it? Oh, it's right down there. Come on, come on. Easy does it. Mr. S Mr. Spaghetti Legs. Come on. Come on, Mr. Spaghetti Legs. Spaghetti legs. <laughs> Although I did not see you stream TMNT three radical rescue on the Game Boy. Radical. Oh, oh, we're not going to do that one. That's like the Metroid V. That's like a Metroidvania equivalent to uh, Turtles, and I can't, I don't like games like that. I prefer like a straightforward platform game. If you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm one of those types of people. I, I prefer. Um, 
I mean, I don't mind Metroidvania games. I mean, if I know where I'm going, that's the only thing, though. You have to have like, a good amount of patience for that game. If that's my truth of calling, if you will. Um, yeah, like that. Oh, my God. Right, where's the other one? Where's the other one? See, it's not easy doing this if you're doing this quite fast. Oh, guys, if you're actually interested about this game, Glenn Plant from... Um, Glenn Plant, you can search him on YouTube. He actually did a review of this game. And I, I agree with his points. You know, certain aspects of this game were felt a little bit um, rushed, you know? I mean, obviously, because it was the first launch title for their new N64 console, they had to get some good exclusives out, which I can see why. But, you know... But it's a good game though. It's got as good charm as though. It's like an it's like an obviously improved sequel of the uh, Super Nintendo game, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's not too bad. Hey, that's pretty good. I think I've done it. Hey, I've done it. Cool. Hey. Oh look, there's a Statue of Liberty. Did they actually just? They just <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yes, obviously, if you guys know, the Statue of Liberty was created by French people, of course. Oh, we, oui, we created the statue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what my cousin told me when I was on a, on, on the uh, the boat trip uh, going to Staten Island. I remember that back in the day. So, that's how I knew about Statue of Liberty. All right. I like the chick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See? She's a porn star. That chick is a porn star. I know, she's so filthy. Could you imagine? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know, I hate being single. It sucks. <laughs> Any girls watching me? Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't, I highly doubt girls will watch her nerds like us, though. I know, I know. I'm getting a bit doubtful. It's like, I uh, don't think any chicks will watch me. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. I'm a fan of Metroidvania games, mm. but they can be kind of hard to get into. Yeah, you are right though, Yoshi Flaggy, uh, because it's like uh, Hollow Knight is quite a, um, it's a really good game. I like Hollow Knight, but you have to really dedicate your your time and effort to finding secrets and stuff. That's why I find that um, the you know the Messenger game quite difficult because you got 16-bit. Uh, graphic thing to worry about and then a bit graphic and it changed the world it, it reminded me too much of you know like link to the past um yeah oh guys uh, i finished zelda 2 uh, on the nes recently i really enjoyed that game it's basically nintendo's version of dark souls um isn't it the early proche to dark souls uh oh here comes the slowdown uh oh. Dean Brad. What about Super Metroid for the SNES? Yeah, guys, if there's a lot of slowdown, just just cope with it. It's my PC. I'm sure it will fix itself. Oh, emulation on the N64. Why do you do this to me now? Why, why, why would you slow down now? Here we go. Oh, it is. Yoshi fanatic. Uh. I would love to have streamed that one. Right. Mm. Oh Christ! Why do you have to slow down now? I know my PC needs to be. Oh, that's fine. I don't know why I did that. Oh well. At least it's picking up speed now. Does it matter if I miss a few? Oh, how are you supposed to get that? Oh, oh, oh whoa, that was close. Oh, jeez, that was that was way too close. I thought it was gonna crash there. Oh my god. Could you imagine? Wretched dude crashes the gyroplane. Gyrocopter, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I might have missed one. Uh, 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 granddad maneuvers. Here I come. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, no fair. 
Uh, oh, can I do this? I don't think I can. I'll sort it. I'll, I'll just land now. Just deduct my points. I don't care. Ugh. Ooh. That was what you call a buttery smooth landing. <laughs> yeah, uh, today my PC crashed about twice. And I don't know why it crashed twice. Because I was trying to edit a video. And it suddenly went crashed when I was trying to look at my video. And then it crashed again. And I go like, oh. I think, I, think um, I need a miracle, guys. I need a miracle. I need to win the lottery. And if I do win the lottery someday in my life... I would definitely go straight to my computer shop, say, just upgrade the hell out of my friggin' PC, please. What do you mean? I don't know about Twitch, guys. I might I might consider deleting Twitch because I keep hearing from you, Review Tech USA, that Twitch is doing really dumb things lately. Um, oh, yeah, guys, did you hear about this? About Angry Video Joe? Angry, uh, no, um, Angry Joe. Um, you know, the guy who... Angry Vi yeah, is it called Angry Joe? Yeah, he ba he got a copyright strike on uh, Twitch, and I think that's what really makes me nervous because if you get a copyright strike on Twitch, you can't p file a dispute. With YouTube, yes, you can because you the, that's the godsend about YouTube. You know, if you have any issues with copyright claims, you can actually file a dispute. But however, on Twitch, if the feature's not there, I mean, why did this is what noise about Twitch because Twitch. If you say blind pray through, which I'm probably going to get banned now if I'm saying it, because you you shouldn't say blind pray through anymore because they don't want you. They're, they're so extreme. They're so terrible. Twitch. I don't know if I can stream on Twitch anymore because I'm comp I'm just going to just stream on Facebook and YouTube now. I'm thinking because Twitch has given me so much. I don't know about Twitch, and I hate the cumbersome thing of like. You have to basically, you know, when you upload a video, you have to do this thing like, I want to have you to capture all the footage and upload it. I mean, with YouTube, it's instant. This is what I like about YouTube because you're you're streaming the game and then you're uploading it straight away. With Twitch, you have to basically manually check your video. Dean Brad, it just drives me nuts. At least you will try to stream on YouTube. Well, YouTube is YouTube's been better for me uh, because. More people go on to YouTube than Twitch. I think Twitch is going to be like Vidme at this point. It's going to cease in due time, guys. It's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Sooner or later, Twitch is just... Because they're owned by Amazon, so Amazon will probably say no because YouTube is getting too big. YouTube have done a better job since it first began, so it makes sense. But the problem is, with Amazon, they don't think like YouTube. They don't think like... Oh, we should have put like a DMCA um, feature in there. You know, if you got a copyright claim from Twitch, you can remove the song. You can do that on YouTube, but however, you can't do that on Twitch. And Dark Side Field DSP is apparently banned off Twitch. And I do not know why he's been banned and he's not done anything wrong. Which is stupid, really. Can you see my argument, guys? I'm just really paranoid about Twitch. <laughs> I know. Could you imagine? You said the wrong thing. You could be banned in an instant. It's like... It's like... It's extreme. It's so moronic. It's so moronic that... That... <laughs> that Amazon don't think like YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh, man. They need to fix a lot of stuff. Oh, this is cool. It's target practice. <laughs> oh, that's wicked. Right, there's another target. Go, go. Go, James Bond. <laughs> yes, money penny, I'm going to missile in the gyro capture. Oh, yes. There we go, Sonny Jim. Yeah. I am so happy to see you streaming on YouTube. I love, I love YouTube, though. All right, it has issues and problems. But it's like all streaming sites, you know, there's no such thing as a great website, is there? You're going to bound to get problems. In uh, all aspects of websites, I mean, you're gonna get like um, server issues, misleading thumbnails. I mean, there's there's a load of problems. But I feel with YouTube though, it's served me quite well. And also, YouTube is actually pretty good on um, on security. I think as well, 
they're actually really good for filtering out spam, I think, as well, because I don't know how Twitch deals with spam, though. I don't think Twitch has a, even a feature that you can delete spam messages, though. Or spam, like, you know how you get comments on, say, YouTube, right? Which is good. But, you know, obviously with Twitch, it's not, nothing like that, I imagine. Because it's an online streaming site. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, Twitch is just twitching my brain into, like, I'm thinking, like, maybe deleting it soon because, I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys think I should keep Twitch? Because I don't know with Twitch, it's not really served my purpose, though. Yeah, YouTube, Dean Brank. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming on the stream. Cheers. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, that's a very nice landing, sweetheart. And she goes, no, no, <laughs> no. Oh, oh my God! You have to basically be perfectionist. Okay, maybe we should do this one again. It's like it's like going it's like being in a it's, it's basically like similar to driving school but with now a video game form, isn't it? Now if you want your license you gotta do this properly. Come on, buy the book. <laughs> yeah. I mean YouTube deleted my channel for spam. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you told me, yeah. So I guess that's okay. Well, I mean it's good you got support though from YouTube, isn't it though? But could you imagine if you had that similar issue on Twitch, how would you get your channel back? That's the great question, though. Am I right, guys? I mean, how would you get your channel back? I hope Angry Joe does get his um, thing reinstated because it's a real kick in the nuts. You know, you're trying to stream a video game that you absolutely love, and then some weird reason Twitch decides to ban people for no reason. I mean, that is despicable in my personal opinion because you're censoring people and it's just, you don't do that. It's awful. It's horrible. I mean, if they censor me out, I, I would call them out on it. I would actually make a video and say, right, Twitch, you need to fix your shit before you, before people jump to another platform. It's, mark my words, guys, it's going to happen. Either way, you know, if you, if you want to entertain your fans, and you gotta be so bloody careful what you say. It's oh, it's not slowing down. Oh, excellent. This might not slow down. I don't know why my PC does this. It, every time I'm playing an N64 game, sometimes it runs perfect speed and then it just slows right, like it slows right down for no apparent reason. It's just so bizarre. But I think it's because I got out of date hardware in my computer. That's the main culprit. I had this PC for like nine. Nine, ten years now, I think. I think so now. Oh man, it's so ancient. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Just gotta get, just gonna get my, save my money and just get it upgraded right now. <laughs> Upgrade it right now. It gets SSD in there. Get the better video card and everything. Hey, Zappy Jeremy. Hello. Hey, it's all right, dude. Don't worry. I'm just taking it easy, live stream. Because this game is so nice and non-threatening. <laughs> then again, it is quite tricky trying to uh, impress the instructors. We got to get some precision accuracy. We want accuracy. We don't want you to miss anything. Now give me some good points, please. Please. Pretty, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Please give me some generous points. I'm begging you. Come on, man. <laughs> da, da, da. And she's... Six. Six for time. Well, at least the rings are sorted out. Two more points. I've got to get two more points. Right. Okay. The Yoshi fanatic. That's yeah. a long time to have a PC. I've only yeah. had my laptop for two and a half years so far. Oh, okay. Yeah, you said you got a recent one, haven't you? Yeah, well, recent from two years. Yeah, mine, mine's just chugging along like... I think it's going to be like one of those... Uh, you know those old Western bandwagons? It's going to like this. It's going to chug along and then it goes... And then the wheels are going to collapse. And this is exactly what my PC is going to do in the future. I'm really shit scared, guys. Because 
If that happens, I'm gonna have to go deep pockets and get an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good game, isn't it? I I think I missed a couple of targets, I think maybe that's why. And I don't think I landed properly, so maybe that's the one of the Maybe I'll miss one of the targets, I think. Yeah. I'll I'll try and get there again. I do like these state I do like these fun games. Yeah, they're really good fun. Nintendo 64. Yep. Did you know it was originally called Ultra 64 before it came N64? Quite fascinating, because it was um they uh they use Killer Instinct arcade board Ultra 64, which is really cool, isn't it? So Triple A. Yeah, it's impossible, isn't it? In these kind of games. Yeah. Now, where is that other one? Where is that other one? Where is the other? Why? Are you, why are you angry, dude? What's wrong? Tell, tell Uncle, Re tell uh, Doctor Retro dude what's on your mind. Ah. Right now, let's see if I can land this thing without going wee. Nintendo Wii. Ah! <laughs> I like it. Did you like that, guys? i got to do the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> I have to go to the Nintendo Wii toilet. <laughs> I, I know. I know. That was very distasteful, wasn't it, though? Come on, land. Come on, baby. It's like, girl. Come on. Beautiful landing. Please give me good points. Come on. Did I miss one? No, I didn't. Please, please let me pass this. I think I passed it. Yay, I passed it. Woo. Like a Jeremy. Sad face. Oh. Like a Jeremy. Oh, it's meant to be a sad face, not an angry face. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, guys, are you looking forward to E3 this year? I don't know how... You know what? I, with this E3 presentation, I'm probably going to watch someone else's live stream of that. Because I think, I don't know how this is going to work, but apparently you have to download the app and then you've got to cough up money to watch the uh, presentation. I'm going like, nah, I'll just watch somebody else who unlocked it. That's the thing I'm going to do. And it's so gosh dang annoying. In what way is it annoying? Hmm. I think I like the gyrocopter bits. They seem to be fun. It's the gyrocopter! Yeah. Yeah. I really want to build a PC, and I have plenty yeah. of money to spend on a decent rig. But the GPU yeah. market is awful, mm. and the new CPU socket and RAM tech is on the way, so I shouldn't build one now. Oh, uh, what what have you ordered? Um, new CPU is on the socket. RAM tech. Oh, cool. So you just you're just shopping around and just hope you can get it in. Now, guys, I want to ask you this. Um, anyway, is um, is there a good way of dis is there is there a way to stop scalpers? The reason I'm asking this tonight is because I'm thinking about buying a video card because I want to get a, e either of RTX uh, three A or three ninety cards. I think that would be the best video cards to get, but it just means I have to obviously change my motherboard now. Because it won't set the new, obviously, new video cards, which obviously wouldn't work on it. So, yeah. This delay makes stuff seem so bad. What, my stream seems delayed, dude, does it? I don't know. Right, next. Right, okay, cool. Right, let's go! Let's go on a, on a, on a flying trip. Oh no, I've got to bow the wind now, haven't I? Oh no, I've got to be really careful now. Winds against me, isn't it? I think. I don't know. Is it against me though? I think that I have problems with this game. You know, the hang gliding bits are very notoriously hard. But with gyrocopters, it's actually pretty straightforward, isn't it? To be honest. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh look, there's a there's a boat there. Anybody going on holiday this year? I'm really looking forward to going to uh going on my holiday soon. Yeah. 
I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm really excited because I, I need a break though. I mean, it's. I think we all do. We had a really rubbish two years. Whoa. Uh oh, here we go. Slow down again. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good. The way to stop scalpers is to not buy their graphics cards. Yeah. I'm trying to get a graphics card from the new Edge Shuttle currently. Oh, okay. Graphics cards from scalpers. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. No, no, Scalpers no, deserve no, the middle no, finger. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Five years? I don't think it'd be that, it takes that long, dude. That's a bit extreme, though. But <laughs> I suppose it, it depends on your internet connection, though. I mean, guys, what is your best uh, speed um, for your internet? I mean... I mean, what's your speed up when you do it off peak as well? Of course, yeah. Oh, I did a pretty good run, except I crashed in that friggin' thing, though. Oh, well. Oh, well, never mind. I'm glad my PC hasn't crashed on me, so I'm pretty grateful, though. Thank you, PC. My granddad PC, I'm gonna call it now. It is a granddad PC. It's like, uh, 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 I'm on my last legs. <laughs> I don't know if I can carry on, Richard, dude. Uh, you have to upgrade my CPU and my RAM and the graphics card. Uh. <laughs> I know. I have to put a new girl in my computer just to make it run super sexy now. I know, I know. You're all saying, well, why do you keep using a girl analogy in computer? Well, it is a lot like uh, having a girl, isn't it? You know, you gotta, you got to dress it up. <laughs> you dress it up. Make it look nice. Make it run fast. <laughs> I know. Sexual innuendo jokes. Here I go. <laughs> Incoming. Uh, but I'm not saying I'm not going to say this. YouTube is. He just goes, Oi. <laughs> Oi. No. <laughs> Naughty retro dude. <laughs> yeah. Me. <laughs> 200. Wow. 200 MBPS download. Whoa. 15 MBPS upload. Woo. Wow, that's better than mine. Mine is about average 80, 64 to 80 megabytes on uh, download speed. Mine is. But I am paying like 60 quid a month, which is too much, though. You know what, though, guys? I'm actually thinking about changing another internet provider in the next couple of years because it's a lot of money to pay for a, for a shit internet. And that's the thing I want to sort out in the future. Whoa, so similar to Yoshi Fanatics. Oh. Very cool, Zappy Jeremy. What company are you with? Is it with, um, is it like with ANT, or what's it called? T Mobile, um, Verizon? Verizon, is it? Yeah, the, you, you got a company called Verizon, T Mobile, uh, what's the other one? Is it, is, I've very imagined there's crap ton of communication companies in America. There's loads, and I bet. Mm. Mm. I always have about 30 seconds of delay on the 30 seconds delay, right. Yeah, because it's taking longer, yes. Which, I suppose that makes sense because I'm I'm beating out further afield, which obviously would um, be a delay. That's obvious, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously if I'm broadcasting in the UK, then it's a lot more uh, quicker, which is obvious because I'm in the UK territory. So, yeah. You did dog me five points for that landing? You having a laugh. <laughs> oh, just because I'm outside the target, boo! Oh, that's no fair. The Yoshi fanatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mine is through Spectrum. Not many Spectrum. In my area. Spectrum? How much do you pay a month for uh, Spectrum? That sounds like the old uh, computer company in the England. I know. <laughs> I know. I used to have a, a Sinclair Spectrum computer. How ironic. <laughs> yeah, I miss the old Sinclair Spectrums. Oh my god, they were really great hardware during the day. Like they were on a piece of their game data was hold on a cassette tape, and it was like so cheap. But you could still buy them cheaply as well, which is a great, great thing. Man. All right, it's not got pretty graphics, but you know, primitive technology is fascinating with me, and I think, yeah, <laughs> I love the old. I love I love old school technology because. Uh, you got to think of how far we come since Pong. I know. Fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, sorry. Was it like Radar Game Dome? I f forgot what it was. The yeah. Whoa! A month. I suppose if you're getting 200, it would be, yeah. Uh, I be Is that reasonable for you? Would you want to go cheaper somewhere else in the future? I suppose you, you get what you pay for, which is what you need, isn't it? So that's a good thing, I suppose. Oh, we were going to have fun shooting targets with missiles. Oh, oh I miss one. Oh, sorry, tally-ho. <laughs> oh, no, I miss one, granddaddy. Hmm. I might have to do another turnaround again. I'll do another missile run. I know, like the uh, sort of World War thing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. A missile run. Not get the diarrhea runs, the missile run. Right, can I get this one? Yeah. Oh, I missed. Don't. Oh. Yeah. Now that's what you call a smash hit. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Now it's really smashing, darling. Oh, tally -ho. Oh, this game is so much fun, isn't it? I know I'm not going to finish it tonight, but I'm just going to have a really nice, super detox live stream. I think I need it, though, because yesterday, for me, was a really agonizing thing, because I know we're in a pandemic, right? I need to see my dentist. And I'm just going like, but I need to see my dentist. <laughs> but... I don't know why would they deregister me. I mean, it, it's it's just what that's what re aggravates me more than anything. Because if you deregister me, then how do I know about it? And this is what do you know what really annoys me as well, guys? Is I will say this: when someone tells you one thing, saying right, if you go if you uh, go privately, right, you can after three years you can be, apparently be back on the NHS patientless. But however. My place where I live nearby said, no, you don't get actually go back on the NHS patient list. You have to basically be on private forever. And I just had a horrifying thing, like saying to myself, oh my god, no way. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'd rather do it for free because I'm on benefits. It makes sense because I don't get a lot of money to play with, you know, to play around with. i got to pay bills like everybody else. And people expect me to have millions of quid in my account, which I don't. Nobody's rich. I mean, you got tax. I got tax. I got to pay council tax and stuff like that. It's a lot to compensate, and I can't. I'm thinking about not buying new video games anymore because I'll tell you this, guys. I finished Resident Evil Village, and I was really disappointed with that game. I thought it was going to be like the grand, grand greatest Resident Evil game, and I was, I was so underwhelmed with that game because. You think about it, I was just, <laughs> I had, you know, I played it twice, finished it twice, and I'm going, and I'm going like, why should I bother doing hard mode when I got attacked by Lycans, and I just uninstall it in me, I'm going to get rid of it tomorrow, because I get some money back. Oh no, can I make it with the limited fuel? I've got to be careful now. Oh, let's see if I can do it. I've got to be quick, because I'm running out of fuel. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make, can Richard do make it? Where's the runway? Where's the... Oh, there it is. Land. Now. Quick. Land. Now. Please. Oh, no! you got to be kidding me. Okay. Uh, alright. I can always come back to that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also... If you don't put GTA San Andreas on <laughs> I'm going to do something to you. And I what? don't know what that is called. Everybody has always done as I say the babysitter bandit. What the hell, dude? <laughs> what? 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 Are you expecting San Andreas? Dude, dude um, <laughs> my list is the top 10 best games. So all the games are going to be on there. <laughs> no matter which place it's going to be. That's a bit extreme. What the hell? What the hell is this? You have to shoot a tin man. A tin foil man. And he fires at you. That is messed up. Hey, come here, you. Hmm. 
Why does it? Why does this remind me of? Uh, what's that game? Uh, what's it called? Oh, you know that uh, yellow giant game. Something D. Uh, you got Denji. Yeah, Denji the giant. Yeah, but in tin foil form. <laughs> well, I don't think you're gonna like where I put my games at number one, number one though, because I love that game, and I'm not gonna say where it's gonna be, but you have to watch it and find out though. I mean, could you, I mean, don't do this, guys. If you ever do live stream, don't give out your list ever. Just make sure you keep it tight-lipped, because obviously people want to watch your video. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bit fr I'm a bit scared by you now, Zapping Jeremy. You now you're gonna say to me because if I don't put your favorite list, you know, you're gonna do something to me. I mean, what are you going to do to me though? <laughs> what are you going to do to me? Are you gonna give me like a a lecture saying like, Wretched dude, you didn't put my favorite game in the list. Now redo the video. I mean. This is the thing, guys. If it's my own top ten list that I personally love these games, don't be offended if I if your favorite game is not going to be at number one because. <laughs> it better not be GTA China Wars. <laughs> uh, right, I'm not going to say any more, but you have to watch the video, dude. I'm sure you're joking, anyway. <laughs> oh, good! I actually defeated the thing. That's fun. I never seen that bit before. That's pretty good fun, isn't it? Do Doshin the Giant Silver Edition. <laughs> this, yeah, the Silver Edition. <laughs> oh no, I need, I need to, I need to, I need to go around. I sound like Review Tech USA. Uh, we had way too many, way too many drinks. Ah, uh, no, yeah, right. Guys, um, and also I want some ideas of you as well tonight, if you're here. Um, what do you think will be a good top 10 video I should do? Um, let me know and I'll look into it. Please stop. Oh, freaking heck! Yes, yes, I would never hurt Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Can you can you take off again? Take off! Take off! Come on, take off! <laughs> you stupid gyrocopter! Uh, okay. Um, no, I'm gonna have to do that again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, you gave me a bit of a fright, dude. Oh, guys, did you hear about um, what happened to Boogie Two Nine A? Apparently, he's he's now in jail. I've been told, and now you know. I mean, oh my God, what the hell was that all about? All oh, because of Frank Hassel. Who was making a real hassle out of him? I know. Weird, isn't it? I don't know. You two so messed up. <laughs> it sound like Arnold the Dashing Giant. <laughs> if Arnold was a if Arnold was a giant. Could you imagine actually Arnold Swarzen being a giant? That'd be really frightening actually. Oh, I can throw missile barrages at you, but <laughs> wait, what? wait, what? Did you hear about Boogie Two Nine A? He's apparently in jail now, and there's a five thousand uh, dollar bond out for his arrest. Five thousand dollar bond now. I I don't know how long this is. It's probably ancient ago because they did like I don't know. Um, why do cases take so long though? That's what I don't understand though. Because apparently he, he fired his gun in the air. Um. Because he was uh, telling Frank uh, Hassel to get off his property. And I'm going like, well, why would he do... I mean, I do feel for him, the Boogie 298. He was getting scared. I mean, if you were in that situation, you would be frightened. You'd be stressed out. I mean, this is this is the thing we have our humans. Our fascinating thing about human behavior. You know, we can do 
these things, you know, and, uh, you know, we can get scared very easily. It's na it's nature. It happens. I mean, why would you go to someone's house and troll them, which is... How could he go to jail? I don't know. I mean, I think, personally, uh, Frank Hassel could, should go to jail because he actually harassed Boogie298 anyway. So, he bullied him. So, I don't know. I... I don't know. Did Francis bully them or what? I don't, I don't know, uh, Daffy Dream. That's... I'm just... It might have been. He might have said something bad to him. I don't know. It could be anything, though. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Yes! Oh! It didn't do that before. Phew. <laughs> uh. Oh, you... That's not fair. Yoshi fanatic. Yeah. Ha, I thought you were enjoying Resident Evil last Yeah, week. I I did enjoy it though. Um but the I I I um I have mixed feelings about the game, but I I'm I I thought it was good in certain bits. There were certain bits in the game I just I, I just went and I and I was going like, "Oh my god, I got to face the the same enemies again." And I was just going like, you know, they could have at least buried up the difficulty a little bit. But I don't know. I mean, it, it, it was. I felt it was a bit of a disappointment. I thought. I personally think. Resident Evil 4, in my personal opinion, is the greatest Resident Evil game ever created, personally. But I think the problem is now, these new Resident Evil games are not exactly getting original anymore. They're getting more stale, staler, and staler. I mean, they're gonna put. They're gonna put, like, new multi path directional stories. I'm just getting a bit sick of it. I just, like. And also. I don't know if, it, if I should spoil this, but, you know, one of your best characters dies in the game, but I'm not going to say who, obviously, but, you know, I let's just say I wasn't really happy how they did the story, though. I was a little bit disappointed, but, however, the gameplay was pretty good, though. I mean, it's not the greatest game I ever played. The puzzles were too easy, though. That's the only thing I did not like about Resident Evil Village. The puzzles were too easy! I mean, I wish I wish Capricorn could put more effort into these puzzles. But, but the thing is, they're going from like survival horror to action, survival horror action, survival horror action. It's like make your mind up, Capcom. Do you want it to be? It should be survival horror. I mean, like, it didn't feel like it. It just it felt like Resident Evil Six that had a baby with Resident Evil Four, and you get Resident Evil Village. That's my own opinion, but if you guys like the game, that's absolutely cool. But with me, I'm going to get rid of the game tomorrow and I'll get my money back. So, well, I'll get trading credit back so I can put that towards Ratchet and Clank. Now, that game I'm really excited for because that looks fun. Right? It looks good. And hopefully that'll have a better lasting appeal and you can get extras and stuff. I think the problem is, Mercery Mode is a joke though on Resident Evil Village. I didn't feel it was a good mode. I felt it, it did. I think Capcom just basically went, right, we're going to put out a Resident Evil game. Everyone's going to love it again. I think this is the problem with expectations, right? I'm getting old, right, right, guys? I'm getting old. And you get the thing, you get this deja vu, deja vu feeling. I've seen this before. And you, could, you just got to question yourself why would Capcom recycle the same aspect of the gameplay that you grew to love in Resident Evil 7? I thought Resident Evil 7 was okay. Um, I don't know. I, I like Resident Evil 7 more than 8. I think 8 was a disappointment. And also the bad guys were really terrible though. I, I just... It's just so generically similar to like... Um, and the only guy I like from Resident Evil, I will say, is Heisenberg. Because he, he reminded me of Nicolas Cage. Taking way too many helium. Because that's what he, he sounded like. He goes, Arr, I'm Nicolas Cage! Impersonator, but meh. No, I just, I just, I, I, I installed it now. I'm not gonna play it anymore because I was, I was. Uh, I enjoyed the game, but I think I'm gonna move on to a new game, and I think that's good though because I'm not gonna more likely play the game again if you got to do that same section, especially with that demonic baby scare freak. It, I just don't like that bit. That's the one thing I do not like about Resident Evil 8. You've got to. You have no weapons, right, in that bit, because you've got to basically avoid the baby and eating you. And I'm going like, come on, Capcom, you know, do better. <laughs> um, but I, you, and you got to do those slow bits in the factory. 
the factory level, I could see what the other tubers were talking about because the factory level slows the pace right down. I mean, I just had no patience for it. And you've got to get the mold to unlock doors and keys. And I, I'm just going like, oh my god, it's another like, uh. it's like a, it's like doing your um, video game laundry list. And that's what Resident Evil 8 is, a video game laundry list. Go here. Uh, go and get some lichens, go take them out, Get take out the boss, get that key, um, go and do that stuff. It's just, it's like, I've seen all that before. I'm just, it's like, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Oh, apparently Capcom is in trouble. They're apparently going to go to court because uh, one of the um, bosses is an imitation of um, a zombie army uh, character in video game or from a movie. Sorry, it's from a movie. Uh, um, Review Tech USA uh, did. And I'm going like, yeah, I think Capcom's in trouble now because they plagiarize a, um, a movie with a fan, you know, with a fan on his head. And uh, it's the same boss thing in Resident Evil 8. And I'm going like, mm, plagiarism much, Capcom? <laughs> yeah, I, I wish Capcom could do better. I think, if you want my honest truth, guys, I don't, I'm not sure about the next Resident Evil game because it's... I'm probably gonna play. I'm just gonna give up on Resident Evil franchise because I'm sick to death playing similar stuff. Well, however, if you guys like to support Resident Evil, but that's your choice. But with me, I'm just gonna go. And, I just want new games. I think the problem is though. I think I'm like you guys. I just want new IPs to play. You know, new ideas, not not same generic. Um, every sequelized game has to do something new. And that's my only issue with that, because with the Resident Evil franchise. However, I don't know about Zelda, because obviously Zelda, you have to obviously change, um, you know, the gameplay mechanics and graphical alterations to make it interesting. But I don't mind Zelda because it's accessible for people, I suppose. But I don't know with Resident Evil, they can't just keep recycling stuff and expect people to buy the game. And also, guys. Why does it cost 50 quid for that game? And I beat, I remember I played that game for 8 hours first time. And then I did it the second time. I beat it in 6 hours. 6 hours. That's so short for a video game. That's not getting your dollars worth. That's not getting your pounds worth. That's my only gripe with that. I know you're all going to say to me, but the DLC is going to come. But the thing is though... I, I am in one of those difficult pr predicaments with my PS5. I have to basically choose what I have to play. So I have to get rid of a game, remove it on the SSD um, thing, and then I have to go put another game in it. I know, I wish Sony could unlock that dang expansion port so I could put another SSD in there. The but then, I don't know, but hey. I frankly couldn't care yeah. about Resident Evil. Fair enough. And I kind of yeah. feel like I'm getting less excited about new games. Yeah, I... Uh, there's just nothing exciting coming out right now. I know, I know, yeah, I mean... I'm glad I'm not, um... You know what, though, guys? I'm actually glad I'm just gonna cherry-pick the games that I want to personally play now, because... The thing is, though, you can have a, a great excitement... You can get overhyped for a game that you're really excited about. And then you're, and then you're playing the game, you're thinking, like... Was the hype level worth it? You thinking to yourself, why did I spend 70 quid on a game when it didn't deliver on hype? I know Ratchet and Clank, the PS5 game, is gonna deliver because I seen so much potential with that game, and the, and I like the fact you know you could tether a level and it instantly loads. It's brilliant. I mean, it's genius. I love that, and I'm definitely gonna do a live stream of that. That's why I felt I was thinking about doing a live stream of Resident Evil, but I just said to myself. I think you guys will probably not watch it because you're going to say, oh no, not this bit, you know, <laughs> which I understand because this is the problem in entertaining fans because if you've got long boring sections, people are more likely not to watch that boring section, you know, that you're doing like three million times. So that's the thing. But I don't know really. That's just my own personal, my own personal opinion uh, about video games. Yeah, I think I think personally right now, I just want to move on to a new game franchise. If you want my personal honest truth, 
Resident Evil is officially done in my personal opinion. And I think it, they just need to stop. And just do something new. I mean, not like Resident Evil, but do like a, a different franchise. And go in a different direction. Because someone said on YouTube, which I totally agree is, you know, it didn't feel like Resident Evil to me. It felt like a, a copy of another game. That had similar mechanics, like, um, I don't know, Condemned. That's, see, that's what it reminded me of, Condemned. Like, oh, I don't know. That's just my own, that's my own problem with that franchise. However, I will respect Capcom if they can actually release the OG versions of Resident Evil games. They should look into that. Like, similar to the Mega Man collection. Um, yes, that would be good, wouldn't it? So many balloons! It's so many balloons. Oh my god, don't do the slowdown, please. Uh, uh, uh. Just go to the balloons! Go to Eins, Eins Balloons. Yeah. I mean, this is why I like Mega Man games, because Mega Man games are really good fun. I feel with Resident Evil games, they don't feel what's fun at all. They felt soulless to me. It feels generically boring, and that's the problem. I have problems with boring games. I want excitement in my games, because Ratchet and Clank, I know, is going to give me excitement for the amount of crazy... Dak weapons that you're gonna fire at the robot enemies. I'm really excited. I mean, I'm I'm personally like Crash Bandicoot games because, and that's just me though. But yeah. What what games are you playing at the moment? Yeah. Du, 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 du. Yeah, I think I think that yeah. I mean, it's like movies, isn't it? Video games are similar to like movies, aren't they? Actually, do you know what, guys? I don't actually really watch movies anymore because video games is like watching a movie and playing a video game now to me personally, which is a good thing because it's interactive. Because the problem I have with movies is it like you watch it once, you know what's it about. But if it, I don't understand how people can watch one movie like so many times. It's like. I had to probably tell that person, you know, do, do you understand the plot? Blah, blah, blah. And I don't know. That's just my own weird way of thinking. I don't know. Eh. The Yoshi fanatic. Yeah. I'm playing ukulele and the impossible there right now. Cool. I'm having a grand time with it. Excellent. Yeah, I'd like to play that again, actually. I've been playing, um, Super Mario... Super Mario Maker 2 uh, again today. Um, I like the speed run the uh, bits, you know, the ninja ninja runs, whatever you call them. You know what I mean? That you get you get um, Nintendo uh, p cherry picks those levels and you just see if you can do it the fastest. I like those. I think I have a problem with Super Mario Maker 2 though personally because if you get these new tools, it can be overwhelming for like people who want to design levels, and you got to put a lot of time and effort to make those levels. And I don't have the patience for it. To be honest, to be honest, guys, you have to dedicate yourself a lot of time. I like it when it goes. Actually, I'll do those when I come back. That will make more sense, me. Because I've got to traverse down the mountain, haven't I? So that makes sense. If that makes sense, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't play Mario Maker 2 anymore. Oh, of course, the online membership. But can't. Oh, can't you can't you make yourself offline though? Or do you have to have an online for that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, can can I do a super duper rant right now? 
Nintendo, why are you releasing so minuscule amount of games on the servers? I'm going to delete it soon. It's a joke. I mean, everyone's screaming for N64 games app, please. Everyone is screaming for GBA games. You can easily emulate those. Come on, Nintendo. You've got, you've got bountiful, great IPs you can work on. I mean, to release on your Switch and get more customers. I mean... They should have really up the price and then I'll consider paying for it. I mean, they should get... I don't know if they could get N64 emulation sort of. I'm sure they can. Nintendo are a very clever company. Then again, half the time they're not that clever because sometimes they do weird stuff I don't understand. Like, taking down people's videos. Hmm, yes. Because of copyright issues. You can make levels. But I'm only interested in playing levels. Oh, we're playing levels, right. To play those. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I know. So, is there a reason that you cancel your online subscription? I was just curious. I think, I think that it's really hard to justify paying 20 quid a year for, like, free... Free, um... Sorry, two Super Nintendo games and one NES game. What, what is the point of that? I mean, I want to. I'm one of the person going to do a video and say, right, Nintendo, you need to sort out your. You need to get more people on your. You need more subscription, Pete. Money, you know. I don't think Nintendo is taking this serious. They think they're thinking like they're they're great and everything, but they're not. Their online infrastructure is terrible. And, and I played like an online match today with, on Super Mario Maker 2 and it's still laggy. Why is it still laggy? And it's like a couple of years later. It's like Nintendo don't invest money into their, their online infrastructure. Invest. This is what Sony does. They invest. 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 Nintendo needs to do that as well. Do, 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 do. Why does he go no no? No 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 no. 75 points. Okay, let's do another test. Oh yeah. 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 I just didn't feel compelled to keep paying for it. Mm, fair enough. I don't play enough online games to justify it. And the emulation yeah. was nice, but I've mm. already bought all of the games I want on my Wii U. That's true, yeah. This is exactly why I want to get a Wii U as well. I want to do these awesome things. Wii U, that's not a PU. Yeah, I think I saw one for 90 quid. I might go... I might go. For... Actually, do you know what I saw the other day, guys? I think I might get it. I saw in Derby that uh, there's a Wii U box Wii U for 136 quid. Do you think Do you think that's a, a good price for a Wii U? Because if it's in box, that might, that's pretty reasonable for a Wii U. So I might go. I might go and get it. So I don't know. The only thing I miss is Tetris 99. But since mm. I can't play that anymore, I've been playing the games in my backlog, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, do you get this? Um, do you have this problem, dude? I mean, when you play online matches with people, do you feel like you know why am I bother playing online matches with people who are far superior than me? Do you ever get that? I feel with that sometimes. I go like. When it's like when you play like Street Fighter the arcade, it's just like oh my god. Yeah, yeah, but as you know what, would you get? Would you? Uh, would you? Um, would you pay more for it if they actually added more, like say N64 and GameCube? I don't think personally we're gonna get GameCube emulation because that's really notoriously difficult to do. I don't know. I might be wrong in that. But it would be nice if they had GameCube games on it. But the only the only th the worry I have is the is the space on the SSD. Sorry, your micro SD card will be compromised by the GameCube games, as well, because it's it's quite um, big, isn't it? Like the mini DVDs. I don't know. I don't know personally. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you one of those single player types? Yeah, I'm I'm like that as well. Oh shoot. Yeah, I'm a single player dude to be honest, because the problem is. Well, actually, I like to play single-player games when I'm relaxing. And then I do like playing Call of Duty Online, which is good. So I'm pretty happy with that. You know what, though? 
If Nintendo can upgrade their next Nintendo Switch, they need to get Call of Duty on that. Because could you imagine that? If they actually put like a 5G um, Nintendo Switch as well, you can actually get the same amount of money. So I don't know who Nintendo's going to go that route because it might be expensive. Because you know Nintendo, they actually like to make stuff cheap. Don't they? So um, I don't know if Nintendo will pursue that, um, that goal in mind. But I think they might do. Because Nintendo knows it makes them the same amount of money, so yeah, I can see that happening. The Yoshi but maybe I don't know. No, I wouldn't be compelled to get an SO4, N64, and GameCube games. I can already play those on my Wii U. Right, but the only problem is with the Wii U, you can't take that with you, though, can you? That's the only thing, isn't it, though? But could you imagine, though? That'd be really cool, though. You can actually bring it bring your Nintendo 64 games on the go. But I know you're all going to say to me, but RetroPie could do this. That's true though. Re RetroPie and emulation handhelds can actually do that. But the problem is, some emulation handhelds can't an handle um, graphical power very well, can they? They can actually glitch up in CPU performance, I notice. It is quite difficult to emulate some 64 games on handhelds, isn't it? So I suppose, yeah. But if you got the Wii U, you can easily run these games flawless, I imagine, right? Do you know with you, Wii U, uh, Yoshi Fnatic, can you actually play Sega Saturn and Dreamcast games on that? So that might be that might be a good thing to consider, because that'll be HDMI compliant. That'd be pretty cool, though, wouldn't it? Way! I got the ball in the thing. 88 points. I'm pretty happy with that. Hey, nice one. Hey, that was good. We enjoyed that one. Ron's unhappy with that. Should we do the hang gliding one? Yeah. I don't really take my switch anywhere anyway, Tunko keeps it. Fair enough. <laughs> it would be nice to have the option. Yeah. But when I go out, I don't really play games. Yeah, I, I'm 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 with you on that Dave as well, MC. because I'm getting tired of that as well. Hey, hey Dave MC, hello man. How are you? How's life with you? Hey uh, Dave MC, I got I'd like to ask you something. Are you excited for Sonic 2 the movie coming out next year? I guess you are, because you're a Obviously a huge Sonic fan, of course. Haha! <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I'm really excited. I can't wait to I can't wait to see Knuckles and Tails together with Sonic. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I saw a I saw a little glimpse into Sonic's 2. Uh, they're using um gun organization uh, from the Sega Dreamcast games, which I'm going like Oh my god! Nerd attack! I mean nerd nerdgasm. I mean sorry, nerd nerdgasm. Like orgasm with nerdgasm. <laughs> Sorry. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm not too bad. I have a bit of a weird. I had a crap day yesterday because I was sorting out my dentist problem, and I'm still furious about it, guys. I am still furious the fact I have to go out of my way to get a free dentist now. Yeah, me too. I I I really love the first movie. All right, it was a bit flawed though. Does it matter though if it was flawed? But it was still a movie, yeah, which it's is good though. I would have liked playing games when I go out. Mm. It's just that I'm usually too busy to play games when I'm out and about. Fair. Uh, hey, that's understandable. I mean, you got a commitment, you got a job, haven't you? So it's hard having free time, and also you got you got a kid as well, and you got to cook food, and you got to do a lot of things. We all see. Yeah, we, you all have a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Please give me some decent poisage. Oh, for Christ's sake, you can't please these people, can you? Uh, yeah, the hang gliding, I don't know why, it's not working out. I'll just do the rocket one then. Sorry. Yee haw! Right about, cowboy! <laughs> um, I was always thinking as well. Um, do you know what, guys? I'm actually I saw a thing on YouTube that I might be getting. Um, 
There's a thing called a Super Console X. Um, apparently, there's like a TV. Uh, there's a TV um, stick version called the, Fire, the Super Console X Pro. And I like the fact it's got two gigabyte of RAM in there. So I might get that when I go on holiday. Because I'm thinking like playing some NES games and stuff like that when I'm out. I mean, obviously when I go to a hotel. That's the cool thing about hotels. Um, they usually have like front ports for the HDMI, so you could just slot that in. But some, I know some TVs in hotels don't actually offer that front port, which is really bizarre. I mean, I like that because you go, plum, play some games. That'd be quite cool. That means I could play like Virtual Boy, uh, PC Engine, and I know it's not going to play perfect N64 games because it's going to have lag issues, of course. Oh no, you deducted me because I hit a wall. Oh shoot! Yeah, yeah. Right. I plan to wake up early and play games while I'm sitting on the balcony and listening to the ocean. Ah, uh, that's the life, dude. That's the life. Play an awesome RPG. Yeah, you can play like an awesome RPG where you where you hear the waves of sea gu the waves of birds and the waves of the waves, the sounds of the waves. I love wave sounds. I do. I love sea sounds because it's really relaxing, isn't it? It's therapeutic. It's awesome, isn't it? This is really tricky because you're going down a tunnel and you're going to get hit no matter what. Whoa. This is pretty cool stage though, isn't it? Oh, crikey, I hit a wall. Oh my, oh my god. There's an arrow saying, go down. Go down. Whoa. Look. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Da, da. Wow, this is really tricky, isn't it? It's okay, it's okay, I'm not taking this seriously. Da, 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 da. Plonk. Wow, that's well hard, isn't it? 28 points. How, how strict is that? <laughs> yeah, uh... I, do you know what sounds I really like, guys? I love, um... You know when you go to, like, uh, beaches? I love the sound of the waves as well. I do. I do love that. I love the wind, you know, when you get cold wind and... Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice sound. Yeah, apparently ocean uh, sounds are really good for helping you to sleep. Which is nice. Yeah. And also, guys, you know what really helps? Um, if you want to uh, get some more sound effects... If you've got like a, a voice recorder on your phone, try and capture some um, sound effects because A, it saves you downloading from these sites because sometimes these sites have dodgy um, dodgy links so you've got to be really careful. But if you create your own sound effects, that's what I like to do, is to get a recorder on my phone and just record the wave sounds or maybe birds chirping and stuff like that. So, which is really good because it's like, it's like YouTube video game home, YouTube homework think about it it's good to do that but you obviously you've got to be careful when you record people's conversations because it's dodgy in there so which I understand of course because it's privacy isn't it privacy of course yeah so yeah Wee! yes it's not the Nintendo Wii bib 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 Oh, oh! Here we go. Slow down, city. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's taking a brunt in the CPU department. I wouldn't worry about this, guys. It will be back in a second. Do 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 do. Come on, go, 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 go! Oh dear, RetroArch, you failed me. I'm going to use Project 64 next time. Oh, never mind. Pew! Pew! Half a glitch a second. Right, I'm just going to wait till it picks up speed again. If that's all right, guys, I'm just gonna wait till it resets a frame uh, frames per second. Or maybe, yeah, just keep playing. Yeah, just keep playing until it fixes itself. 
Ouch. Do do do. Now what I gotta do here? Oh, we yeah. pop the balloons. Pop the balloons. Yes, my granddad PC is gonna break any moment now. I'm going the wrong way, Anna. Do 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 do. What's it doing down there? There we go. Do, do, do. Beep, 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 beep. So guys, if you went to a hotel, if you obviously went to a hotel, what video game console would you bring with you? Uh, I personally would probably bring, if I had the choice, either like a an Android uh, gaming box. Or maybe my, if I had a more money, I can easily upgrade my laptop, get, get a PC gaming laptop. That'd be good because that way I can play Steam games. That's what I like about Steam because I can play a lot of point and click games, and they take a long time to complete, which I do like. Ah, I like that. <laughs> and also, I probably will bring my Nintendo Switch because that's really good for. Um, that's what I like about Nintendo Switch. It's um, you can download all these awesome games and just play in the hotel, and it's. And I like the small factor because if I bring, if you bring your PS5, it's too heavy, and Xbox Series X, it's too much weight. It's heavy. It's a heavy bugger. It's same. It's I don't know, but yeah. I was bringing my Switch and my laptop. Sweet. That's what I'll be doing this summer. Yeah, same here. Well, I wouldn't bring my laptop. I will usually bring my iPad Pro with me. That's kind of similar to like a. Well, it's not, it's not obviously a laptop, but, you know, it's uh, iPads are pretty good for me because it means I can check my emails, I can watch YouTube videos, I can watch Disney+. Plus. I know you don't like Disney+, Plus, but, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you just remind me, I've got to watch um, Bad Batch tonight. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm watching uh, Futurama again. I really love that show. It's so funny. I like the second episode, you know, with Bender. If he gets like a fridge bracket on it on his body, he starts singing. It really makes me laugh every time. <laughs> and that that really funny song, what was it? Uh, what was it? Round a moo, and he got a guitar poon. <laughs> I know it really makes me laugh every time. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, I know it's like playing volleyball with a a green a green um, a green gumball machine. Oh, that was close. Hey, let's play basketball with this, eh? Right. Go, 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 go. Go, go, get in the net. I said, get in the net. Get in the net, get in the net, get in the net. Oh, shoot a rama. Where are you? There's the ball. Go get it. Go get it. Go, go. Put it in the net. Put it in the net. Put it in the net. Get in there. Ay, ay, ay. Where are you now? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh. So tell me, your, what, Yoshi Fanang, when are you going on your holiday again? Is it June or July you're going on holiday? Or August time? Yep. There we go. It's it. Finally. <laughs> Only... T oh, 47 points! Oh, it took too long, that's why. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I took way too long. Never mind. Oh, it's one of those hot potato targets again. Beep, 
I'll be going on vacation in about two and a half weeks. Nice. Smiling. I hope you have a really excellent time, dude. Take plenty of awesome pictures. Do you do what I do when I go on holiday? I actually do bring my iPad Pro and I actually do some landscape art. You know, like, you know, I probably will do that. That's the beauty of photography, isn't it? Oh no, why have I got a little fuel in this one? Oh, that's not... Oh, right, use the little thing. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, come on, man. Where is it? He's going to run out of fuel and explode. Get on the target. Get on the... Uh. I said get on there. Get on there. Get on there. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, freaking... I need to do that again. That was bad. I don't have a tablet. Ah, okay. My phone can take some pretty decent pictures. Sweet. So I will definitely be taking a lot of pictures. Excellent. Yeah. Do you do you um, sometimes use like um, you know um, do you have um do you use like a uh, um, photo apps on your phone? Like you can actually alter pictures. Uh, I do like to do that because I have a thing. Um, What's it called? It's a photo editing software on the iPad, and it's really cool. Um, I can take pictures and manipulate them. I love doing that. You know, make it stylized. It looks really cool. I can actually do... I love doing um, what's called a color splash photography. So if I see a boat, I'll take a picture of it and just do a color splash with that focal point. I love, I love doing that because what I'm thinking about doing is... If I can... Because I might go back to that website, um, see if I can try and make some... Uh, little extra cash on the side, that'd be really good. Um, that'd be nice, that way I could build a funding for my PC and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> I think that's a good idea, but I will look into it. But, I don't know. I haven't been on that site for ages though, so I need to up my game, I think. But the only problem I have with certain you photography do websites... Oh, you don't do fend anything. Do oh, okay, right. I just snapped the pictures and I'm done. Ah, okay. So you do it, you do it as a, a casual thing. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, I do a lot of photography. Uh, I love I love photography. I did a course um, back in the old days, and I really enjoyed it. Yes, but it's that's why I like about my smartphone. I can actually take pictures very quickly, and I can upload them straight to uh, Facebook, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And I can get people to go like, oh, I like the landscape, you know, the sea and everything, you know. <laughs> That's the beauty of Facebook, you know, you can actually upload a photo and you can say like, you know, this is where I went to today, you know, the caves and stuff. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to my holiday. I've never been to this place before and it's got a beautiful beach and um, they filmed uh, Dunkirk there and, um, you know, the movie, um, which has really got me excited and I can't wait to see it because I saw that movie as well. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really nice holiday. I'm really looking forward to it. I just have to basically save money for my hotel and get food done, and obviously have some you know get some money for attractions and stuff like that. And then yeah, have fun. Really, it's good. To, it's good to it's good to. What well, uh, my friend said something a really powerful thing recently is um, create happy memories. Because that's precious to us. We should do that. It's a good thing, isn't it? Because if you don't create happy memories, then you won't have a happy life. Which makes sense. Of course. Yes. Yes. Then again, you you want to flush out you want to flush out the negative bad memories, don't you? You want obviously want to get the positive memories that you'll treasure for the rest of your life, of course. Yeah. As I, my, my famous philosophy, with my philosophy way of thinking. Of course. Mm -hmm. Right, I think I'll just do this and I'll call it a night, methinks. Man, I, re I really had a good fun in this game. Alright, I'm not going to finish it, but that doesn't matter. You know what, I'm actually glad I played the Super Nintendo version, because I never finished that game before. But with this one, it's 
it's a bit trickier, isn't it? So, ah, uh, sorry, I'm gonna land. Actually, yeah, I think I'll just stop here then. <laughs> ah, that's okay. That's okay. God. Ah, I think I'll. Ah, I think I'll chill and just say, well, that's not too bad going, was it? I know. I don't know what happens. I think you get a license, don't you, when you've done the rocket bell, isn't it? So, hey, that's not too bad work for a night's work, I suppose. Um, so, yes, um, I've actually uploaded, guys. Um, I'm gonna do Donkey Kong Country. Sorry, not Donkey Kong Country. I'm doing a Donkey Kong '94 Part Three. Hopefully, I can finish that game. And also, I'm gonna play Super Mario Super Mario World Two again, Part Two, for the Yoshi Island later. That'll probably be the last stream before I go on holiday. So, as a, you guys, I'm just going to say right now, I'm going to probably take a two-week break um, in June. But I'll let you know um, when. And I'll pro actually, what I'll do is I'll do a video, say, right, guys, due to my hectic life and what I've been through recently, I want to just, I'm just going to probably do it as a video. At least I'll inform you that way. I think that's better. Or maybe what? Actually, what I'll do, I'll just do a community post. That that'll be better because that way it saves me doing uploading a video. I didn't think of that, did I? That's the beauty of community post. So yeah, I'll do that actually. It's like a Facebook announcements, but done on YouTube. So I could do that. Yeah. Hey, that was fun. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll close this down now. So. We could chat for 10 minutes and just check uh, how we're doing. Two likes, thank you very much guys for this. I, uh, I'm glad I played this game because I remember playing this a lot at college when I was back in the old days. Oh my god, uh, I just saw a feed. Um, Review Tech USA is EDP445 is now banned from Facebook. This guy's life is officially over now. He should give up. I mean, he's done some terrible things, and now he's been banned on all social media. What, I mean, this is exactly what's gonna happen. It's a ripple effect. If you do something bad on the internet, then you're gonna, you're gonna get consequence coming to you. So, it's inevitable it's gonna happen. I mean, what, does this guy think he's invincible? He's not gonna, he's not gonna get away with it though, because people will know what he did. Obviously, I'm not going to say what he did because you guys know the situation, but uh, he did something very inappropriate, which I don't approve of, of course. Um, mm, so, there you go. That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to... Um, let me just have a look. I think I might have the app on my phone. Um, I'm just going to have a look to see what the app is called, in case you guys are wondering what... What I use, because it should be on my list anyway. So, of my downloads, uh, let's see. If I put in photo, photo, uh, hmm. Oh yes, guys. Um, if you're curious about um how to achieve uh excellent um. There's like a there's a really good app called Photo Academy, um, so it's basically like a, a tutorial guidebook, if you will, about how to take pictures. If you have like a DSL camera or you know anything like that, um, it it tells you how what ISO you can use, which is really cool. So if you want to take really cool pictures, the the one thing I really would love to do is to actually take a uh, firework pictures because you could do this really cool slow slow blur effect i really love those pictures you know when you get like ferris wheels with the slow burn when it goes around in a circle it's really good fun um yeah i'm trying to think what is it called it's not photoshop photoshop i wouldn't trust because the problem with photoshop is you have to cough up a, a monthly fee to access the features which i don't approve of that's that's the this is the thing i hate about these apps now on your smartphone your tablet because some of these apps, you know, they're asking you to pay like a monthly fee. And I miss the old days of like, you download the app and it's yours and you've got all the features. But now companies are going like, we've got to milk you dry. We want more money out of you. And I just, I just get annoyed by that. Co companies do this all the time. Like, if you love this app so much and if you want to remove the ads, you've got to cough up money. It's like, oh my God, capitalism. 
Why? You know? I mean... I mean, once you... I mean, personally, in my opinion, you should buy the app with all the features in it. Pay a higher price. Then I'll be fine with that. Because that way you get everything. But... This is why I this is why I'm a bit cautious about free apps because sometimes these free apps are not really free apps. They're like shareware free apps. You know, you play you play the app a little bit and then it goes, "Oops, if you want to lock more features, cough up like 50, 60 quid." No, thank you. Why? Why can't you why can't you just include it on the app and just buy it outright? I miss those days. But Oh, well, what's, what's the world coming to? It's just, this is the problem with greed, isn't it? Companies, greed, 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 greed. Yeah. Um, uh, guys, uh, there's another YouTube channel I think you should check out. Um, I I had a really nice comment from him today. I think it's called Shmup, uh, what's he's called? Ah, oh. oh, here we go. Um, Shmup Junkie. Uh, He's a really good uh, YouTube channel. Um, he uh, commented one of my videos. Uh, sorry, not one of my videos. Sorry, he, he commented uh, on it. He commented the one I commented on his recent video um, with R Type History, and uh, yeah, and I said to him, I said the um, I really adore the um, R Type Delta game because it's one of the best shooter -em shmups out there on the PlayStation, and he liked that comment, which I'm going like, yay, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah, I I read. I really made me happy today. I like when you get good engagement because sometimes when I leave uh, comments on certain people's YouTube videos, I say like I do say like nice things, but sometimes they don't get to me back to me probably um, straight away. I notice, but there are genuine people out there that do respect uh, when you put a comment. I really like that. I wish more people could do that often. It would be a great thing. So. Okay, um, I think I'll uh, stop now and uh, call it a night. This has been an absolute blast. Thank you, everybody who's been watching. And uh, this Friday, I'll be playing Final Fight 3 on the Super Nintendo. I'm really looking forward to that because that music, the music is brilliant. The gameplay is fantastic. It's it's a great sequel. And it's the only problem with that game is it was never released in Europe. It was released in USA territory, which is a shame. But I wish it was out in European territory. It would have been good sales, but hey um but i enjoyed it um i can't wait to play that game for you guys because i like guy guy is one of my favorite characters from final fight for his series and uh hagar of course because the wrestler <laughs> okay then guys uh remember to please like comment and subscribe and as retro says retro forever and i'll see you guys uh this friday and uh i'll tell you what stuff i bought um uh, uh tomorrow well not tomorrow i'll tell you on friday what i bought and I'm going to do uh, video game pickups at the end of this month as well. Um, so look for I will be looking forward to making those two videos because one I'm going to go to Nottingham this time, and then the other I'm going to Burton on Trent. So yeah, just to get some more video games, build up my collection. So yes. <laughs> All right then, guys, take care, and I'll see you see you later. Have a great evening, good, have a great morning, great afternoon, wherever you are. Take care.